Coogan Cassius, IFL TV in Manchester, the phones for Arena for the Rise Up show. Fighting the Ultimate Sam Egerton, dominating points win over William Warburton. Uh, how do you feel after that first? Yeah, I feel all right. Um, it was an awkward kid. The first few rounds, he come to give it a go. Then after that, it was hard, it was hard to catch, you know. Mm. It was a bit messy at times, but I'm glad I got it in. Six it, rounds. He's an awkward fighter, isn't he, John? Uh, uh, William Warburton is one of the toughest, cleverest kids on the circuit. And what we didn't want, we didn't want William to climb us and uh, hold on to us, which he's very good at because he knows his way around. So we practiced working the body, keeping it arm's length. Points is great, you know what I mean? We need more point twins. He's, he's not people out, we've seen that. We want to see more point twins, more learning. But, you know, William didn't get to hold on to all, but he was happy with that. Mm. I'll just eavesdrop your little conversation with Barry there when he used the term raw as shit. But yeah. there was, you, you obviously know what he was meaning by that. You're 20 years old. Yeah. You're not in a good 20, way. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, yeah. In a good way. Yeah. Still got a lot to learn, but the ingredients are definitely there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Barry seemed. Um, he seems happy with what I've done tonight, and yeah. I mean, he said he's talked to John and Shooter, so yeah, he's, for more than that. He's looking, tonight, you on, he's looking again. You on more shows. That's what he just says. Stay yeah. ready, and they'll, you know, they'll squeeze him on. And he's always ready to fight. That's one of the things. He's always ready to fight. Three days notice, we was there ready to do a six rounder. You know yourself, Coog. A lot of people want four weeks notice for a four rounder. Definitely. So, so you know, too many divas in the game, aren't there, John? We've got rung up on. Wednesday or Tuesday? Wednesday, I think. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready to fight? We said, yeah. Find us an opponent. We turned up and done the job over six rounds. And box well over six rounds, I thought, you know, against a very awkward, tough guy who last week beat an unbeaten prospect down in London. Absolutely. So, you know. Absolutely. You might want to stop saying that you're willing to box for free, though, Sam. Huh? You might want to stop saying you're willing to box for free. <laughs> Get rid of that. Get rid of that. No, I'll say that again. <laughs> I'll say that I again. Sleep, that was nerves with the camera, that was. No, that's fine. No, this is and it was thing. a live as well, so. <laughs> <laughs> I just tried to look. All them people going, God, oh, that's good on him, Sam. Look at the box of yeah, three. Like, he would have made me pay. Right. That's what he would have done. He would have been nice to Eddie and Barry and then made me pay afterwards. That's what he would have done. Absolutely. So. Um, yeah, but yeah, you've had two fights in quite quick yeah, succession. Yeah. Three. The point. Oh, three, obviously. Yeah, the yeah. Rice fight, yeah. Of course. So, But the only defence you've had were actually in Rice Fire, haven't yeah. they? So, and three rounds. Both by points where yeah. you know a lot of people had it the other way. Mm. Well, he's a 10 round fighter, Coog. He's not a three round prize fighter. You can't say no to prize fighter because he's exciting and he wants to get a profile, but he's a 10 round fighter. When he's fought over 10 rounds, his best rounds have been rounds 7 to 10. He's either stopped them or wore them down and ground them down on points. He's a 10 and 12 round fighter. There's a lot of building to do there, but that's where we're aiming for. Prize fighter was fun and it was a great opportunity, but you'll be seeing him in 10 and 12 round fights, and that's where you'll see the best of him. All right. Do you want to hear a compliment someone, I heard someone say while we were watching your fight? On. Someone said that you reminded them of a young Carl Froch. I can't there be bad, go. can it, mate? It's and off camera, I'll tell you who said that. I won't say on camera, but off camera, I'll tell you who said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you get 50% of what he's done, you'll be happy, won't you? If I back out Wembley, I'll be happy, mate. Mind you, Carl's still on the vest on at 20, so we're in front. <laughs> <laughs> People call me a you know, half decent Lennox Lewis, but you know. Yeah, well, then you know, he's no good with a camera either, so, so you're, in, <laughs> you're, you're in front of him there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. John, Sam, thanks for joining us on TV, and uh, well done, another win for you. Thanks, Coogan, hopefully we'll see you soon. Definitely. Yeah. All right, thanks, Cheers,